Let's go over the four different fluid types you need to know as a nurse. First up are hypotonic IV fluids. Hypo means low. So these have a lower osmolarity than the blood. Therefore, they're gonna cause water to move from the extracellular space to the intracellular space. Here are the different types, and the risk includes cell swelling and rupture. Then we have isotonic IV fluids. Iso means equal. Therefore, they have an equal osmolarity as the blood. It's gonna cause water to equally transfer in and out of the cell, which is gonna help expand the intravascular space. Here are the types, and the risk include fluid volume overload. It can increase the glucose, like with D5W. And then with LR, it's not for patients with liver disease because they can't convert lactate to bicarb. Hypotonic IV fluids, hyper means high. So they have a higher osmolarity than the blood. This causes water to move from the intracellular space to the extracellular space. Here are the types. Risk include cell dehydration and shrinkage. Then lastly, we have colloids. Colloids are these really large molecules that don't cross the capillary wall, but they're gonna stay within your intravascular space. Therefore, they're gonna pull water through oncotic pressure from interstitial space to the intravascular space. Here are the types. Risk include allergic reactions, fluid volume overload, and bleeding problems. Now, if you want a copy of this in poster format, you can get it at nursesarah.com.